Welcome, in this video we're going to be talking about Netcraft and Dimitri. So our objectives here is we're going to be looking at how to use Netcraft and how to use Dimitri. So for Netcraft, we're going to be going to this URL. And again, Netcraft is a website analyzer server. It helps with uh, the website finding basic and important information such as operating system, the uh, web server is running, uh, website is secure or not, if there's a scripting language, hosting providers, what technologies may work on the site, if there's encryption, it's uptime, it's ISPs, and more. So let's go ahead and let's jump in and let's see if we can use it. All right, so in Kali, let's go ahead and let's open up Firefox. In Firefox, navigate to siteReport.netcraft.com. This is a web portal or a web resource. And so first of all, it should have some cookies. That's fine. And this is what I'm looking for here. So we're going to provide a domain that we're going to be looking up, which is going to be hackbox.eu. Hack the box. And we want to see what information we can find. So Hack the Box has a Google ranking that's fairly low. Its NetBlock owner is Cloudfare. Its hosting company is Cloudfare. One of its addresses. We can find things like its DNS. We can find things like its who is, its name servers. We can find the appropriate addresses as we drill down. We can see some names of who owns them. And then we can see uh, block owners. And again, we can see things like if there are policy or SPF uh, functions that are there. We have DMARC uh, information. We have web tracker information. We have cl uh, server and client side information. Cloudfare keeps popping up. So this allows us to dig down into what we need to see on this location. Well, I want to look up a different site. I want to go ahead and look up google.com. So google.com is ranked 203. It doesn't really have a risk rating. It was first seen in 98 and we can see some detailed information. Well, you know what? I typed the wrong address. I want www.google.com. Google.com versus www.google.com is different. www.google.com is site rank of number one. And it also has a risk rating two out of 10. While it also was first seen in 98, it has similar address information. Here we can see the deep dive into our addresses and we can see our IPv6 deep dive in the EU, EU, Netherlands, and Ireland. We can see kind of where address information is being pulled from. We can see uh, NetBlock owners and we can see web server types. It's Linux and it's using the GWS web server. I'm not familiar with what GWS web server is, so web server. GWS is actually a Google web server. It's a proprietary web server that Google uses for its web infrastructure. So kind of interesting to see what they're using. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go back and I again want to do hack the box. I want to see what servers were running. So they were running Linux and they were running Cloudflare, their version of an OS. So again, this is one tool that we can use to start digging down into what's available. Next, let's look at Dimitri. Dimitri has several different uses. We have several different um, switches like the I performs address, the W does who is, our S provides searching for subdomains, our P provides 
port scans are F provide, port scans are E provide, searches for possible email addresses, O allows for output. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a simple string. I'm going to be Dimitri Tac W I S E so that I can do all of my special searches. I'm going to dump it using an output to a text file on the desktop, and I want to go ahead and do that against Google. Uh, maybe Google, and maybe hack the box. We'll try both. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and close out of there. Close all the tabs. I'm going to open up my web portal or open up my terminal. Dimitri, I'm going to do attack wise attack O. I want to go ahead and put that on my home Cali desktop and I want to call it info.txt and again I want to do it against google.com and I'm going to let it run while it finds its information. All right I'm going to do the same thing but I'm going to do it against the box you oh, I'm kind of curious to see if it dumped what it dumped here oh, so I messed up I wanted to do a separate output file but it is fine so it dumped all of the remarks to a text document so I can see things like uh, its admin contacts if there are any when it was created, when it was modified. And that's really it for Hack the Box. So actually, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to rerun the one for Google so that I can see content. Searching for Google. All right, so open up that text document again. Searching for Google, that's what I want. I can see its remarks. I can see where it's located. So gathered information, this is what I'm looking for. When it was updated, when it was created, when it expires. Contact information, complaint information. And their normal terms of the services. And it actually does have a list of subdomains. Maps, www, support, meet, contacts, hangouts, and a giant list of other subdomains. So it found 51 possible subdomains, and it did find some emails. So google at google.com, networkabuse.google.com, bar at google.com, hymenshu at google.com, security at google.com, and other things. So it found five email addresses. So that's Dimitri in a nutshell. Nice, easy way to scrub some details from a website to see what we can pull. If you have any questions, please reach out. Thank you.